Today we're going to process and register a new set of scans in Ferro Scene 2025. First, we're going to click on this, the SD card location, Drive H. Select the folder. It recognizes all of the projects on the SD card. I'll click Transfer and Start Transfer. Now that the scans have successfully transferred, I'll click OK. And I labeled this one Pano, so I'm going to type in Pano in the search. And here it is. There's nine scans all together in one cluster. So I'm going to click on Process Scans, select the project, click Configure Processing in the upper right corner. And now under General, and this is a little different from Scene 2024, but the same basic concepts are here. Under General, I'm going to click on Skip Fully Processed Scans, Create Scan Point Clouds. I'll click on Focus, and I'm going to colorize the scans. Create full resolution panorama images, create panocam scans. I'm going to choose dark scan point filter, stray point filter, and uncheck edge artifact filter. I won't have any targets and I'm not going to worry about the active sphere radii. I'll click on registration and make sure that perform automatic registration, top view, and cloud to cloud have been selected. I'm going to use an inclinometer and use the compass. Now these were captured using the standard screen interface on a Faro core scanner. If you're using stream, you'll want to change this to cloud to cloud, assuming that all of your scans registered together correctly on stream. Now in this case, we're going to use top view and cloud to cloud, and I'll click start processing. Now that the scans have finished processing and registering, we'll click Show Registration Results. If you click OK, all you have to do is go click on the Registration tab. That's where this button will take us. And now look up here in the upper right corner where it says Recommended Next Step, Verify Registration for Scans. You can either click here and Start Verification, or you can click Verify Registration and start verification here. Either way, we'll take you to the same place. We're going to look at our scan positions. They all look correct. I'll look at my report. The mean point error is good. I'll click on Save Report. I'm going to go to the drive where this project lives. This is the panel project. So I'll save the registration report in here. It will open up in a PDF viewer. I can review the report and then close it. Next, I'll answer yes, I'm satisfied with the registration and click finish. I'll now click on return to registration dashboard. If you accidentally click on continue to project alignment, you can close that and then return back to the dashboard. Ultimately, we're trying to get to the Explore tab. Once we get to the Explore tab, we'll zoom out and get our building inside this circle and click on Auto Clipping Box. I'll start by dragging the top down until the ceiling disappears. I'll drag the bottom up until the floor goes away, and then I'll drag it back down just underneath the floor. I'll go to a top view. And from the top view, I'll click on the rotation manipulator and rotate the box so it better fits the room. I'll bring in the red and green arrows, get them a little closer to the walls. I'm going to try to do this without cutting the walls off. I'm going to click the eyeball to turn off the visibility of the clipping box. I'll then right click on the clipping box and rename it. I'll rename it Main, press Enter, and now I'll click Save. And in the comment, I'll type in Add Main Clipping Box. I'll make sure my name is in the author and click OK. Now that that's complete, I can look around. Everything looks to be in order. 
I'll now click on Project Point Cloud and create that. I'll homogenize the point density and click OK. Now that the Project Point Cloud is finished, I'll click on OK. Click View Project. This is the product of the Project Point Cloud. So it looks a lot better.